Oh, we will get ahead in this video. I'm going to be showing you the remote control application on the Samsung Galaxy S6. Uh, I'm just going to basically show you how to set it up and how it works. So I'm going to open up the applications. It's just showing you to connect to Wi Fi. Um, let's click start. You're going to enter your postcode, which I'm going to do right now. And I'm not going to show you. And then you just select whatever um, you have. So if it's FreeSat, you select FreeSat. I think mine was this one, so we're going to select that and then straight away you're in the main interface. So this, the main interface is where you could see um, TV shows, programs, movies, stuff that are playing on the TV um, all here. You can see you've got TV shows, movies, sports, you've got all of these different categories and you've got top picks, which is also pretty cool. So now we're going to get into the main remote application, which is right up there. We're just going to tap the remote icon and it's going to say make sure TV is turned off, which is. We're going to click next and we'll click next again. And now you're going to select your TV brand. Um, it's got like the main TV brands up there straight away. So Samsung, Panasonic, Sony, uh, Vizio, Toshiba, LG and Sharp. You're going to select other brands. And you can see you could choose from a huge list of brands. So I'm pretty sure that um, it will have your brand there. So you can see the huge, huge list of different brands. So my one is LG, so we're just gonna select LG and next. And now it's gonna bring you to a screen where you're gonna try different buttons to see which ones work. Uh, so if the first button doesn't work, you could go to the second one, the third one, and until you find one that works. We're gonna try the first one. And you can see in the background, it did turn on, so that is pretty cool. So you're gonna say yes, it did work. I'm gonna mute this just for now. Um, I don't have a satellite box. If you do have a satellite box, you can set that up and you're gonna tap back into the application again. Um, it's gonna tell you about this, do, 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 about the notification panel. I'll show you how to disable the, the uh, thing in the notification panel later on. So this is what the remote control looks like. Um, there's two parts to this remote control which I'll show you in a second. This part, which is the main bit where you've got your volume controls, um, you've got your ch channel changer, you've got your number input so you could just um, type in whatever whatever channel you want to go to. You could mute and unmute um, your channel. You can set inputs which takes you to the inputs. So you could change from your PlayStation, your Xbox One, DVD player or whatever you have connected to your TV. Uh, so if you click input, it takes you straight into the input in the background so you could change between whatever you want. And the second part to the remote application is if you swipe across, it brings you all of these um, additional controls um, to your TV. So you got your navigational controls. So you can see in the background, you could just easily go across and select whatever uh, method that you want, which is pretty cool. We're gonna go back to the TV real quickly. Um, you could also access the menu. So if you select the menu button, the menu will pop up and you can navigate the menu um, using this as well. And you've got your guide, your info, which shows the TV description. And if your, if your TV supports it, um, you can record, stop, play, rewind, and all of that good stuff. And your number pad here, so you can switch between channels. So basically, this is all the essential stuff that you need on the, um, that you need to actually use and navigate your TV. It's basically all of these buttons on here. For the most part um, and it's very easy and convenient to use and it works pretty good so let's exit out of this real quickly um yeah this is a quick look at the application everything is clean and easy to use and it works just fine the setup process as you just saw was dead simple um and another thing i want to show you really quick is if you go back home I know this was a problem with the previous um, Galaxy phones where this remote application won't go away, you can't slide to kind of um, kind of close it or anything like that. I'm going to show you how to get rid of it, so open back up the application. We are going to go back to this screen here, the main screen, we're going to go into settings and we're going to scroll down to the bottom and it's going to say right here, um, show remote control or notification panel, we're going to uncheck that. You can go back to the home screen and voila it's gone nice and simple to do and yeah that is about it this is just a quick look at the remote control application for the samsung galaxy s6 it works pretty well it's fully featured and you could basically control every aspect of your tv uh from this uh from your phone which is pretty cool 
and you can, can mess about with other people's TV if you want to play a little prank. Anyway, um, that's about it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up or a like. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think. Do you like it? Have you tried it out for yourself? And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.